Okay, I'm using color one and color two. When you mix these two colors together, it will give you color one B. So after mixing the color, this is what I got, color one B. So for this week, I'm using um, this spiral wand. It comes with a lock like this, but I'm not going to use the lock for this in this video. I will show you the reason. Instead, I'm using, I'm going to use elastic band I'll start by using a little portion of hair. I slide it into the hook attached to the spiral spiral cord, spiral wand. It serves as a security for the hair. Then I start twisting and wrapping the hair around the spiral wand. So once I get to the very end of the spiral wand, you guys will see what I'm doing. As you know very well that you are seeing what I'm doing. So I'll keep wrapping the hair the way I'm showing you here. Keep wrapping it, following the shape of the wand. So once I get to the last part of the one you see that the hair i still have some hair left what i will do is that i'll start wrapping it upwards yes i'll reverse my wrapping method and stop sorry and start wrapping upwards so once i finish wrapping the hair instead of using the lock that the one comes with i use my elastic band because the lock could not uh, lock this hair because the hair is thick for the whole lock i use my elastic band to secure the end like this i will do it one more time so in case you didn't get what i did this is me wrapping the hair the one is so easy it has um, a hook that serves like a security where to make it uh, to make your hair not to slip off so after wrapping the hair like this i still have some left over i'll keep wrapping the leftover upwards in a reverse method a uh, mode yeah after wrapping i use my hair let me show this is what i'm telling that the lock couldn't lock the hair because it's too thick rather i use a um, elastic band to secure the hair so these are the ones the first batch i did batch by batch this is the first batch to love to sell of 20 ones then i'll proceed to dipping the ones with the hair on them in hot water so this is the hot water as you can see i did not put anything i decided i noticed that adding um, conditioner does not i didn't see any significant and uh, difference makes so i said to add just hot boiling water put it on a jar and dip my put my wands and allow it to cool down i unwrap unwrap it when the hair is still down but make sure that the hair is cool down because if you do this when the hair is still hot, hot that means the hair has not uh, set it will not hold the coil so allow the hair to cool down if you cannot wait like me because i mean i'm in the hair you just run it through a uh, run cold water on the hair to cool it off then you start unraveling but make sure you do this unraveling unwrapping while the hair is still damp get it so this is what the coils look like this is so beautiful these are all the coils the 20 this is the these coils here are 20 spiral coils i'm going to make more batches as i go 
so guys i want to quickly show you how i use these coins to create that soft look with you saw in the beginning so guys welcome to my channel my, my name is shima of new Ellen beauty and by case you are new here you highly welcome please consider subscribing and turn on your notifications so you get notified whenever i post new videos and for you my old subscribers thank you for coming back so this is me showing you how i attach my front i have a detailed video on that so that's why i didn't show you the detail there so this is the first um, soft locks i have already done so let me quickly show you how i made this soft lock i'm using kinky hair for the crochet because i have a pack of kinky hair laying down just doing nothing so i decided to use it for the part, some part of this hair i will still use the coily uh, coiled uh, canica long hair for the rest so this is the kinky hair i use very portion a little portion of it to crochet then i add much uh, bigger portion to the crocheted parts and tie the crocheted part to secure the bigger portion now this is my handmade <laughs> Curly hair and this is dry, very dry now. So for you to get the coils, not to have a, uh, not to, uh, for you not to make the hair to be freezing, freezy, you have to damp the hair again if the hair is too very dry. After damping the hair, I added some cream, hair cream, to make the separation of the coil so easy. I make sure I massage the hair with the cream and the water. So this is how smooth the coils are coming now while you separate and separating them here yeah, you see so i will take some portion the amount i want and i will start using it i will start wrapping the kinky with it so you must not use kinky you can still use this coily hair that i made just that the king has been staying here with me doing nothing so i decided to use it for the for some part of this week then the rest i will use my coily hair to do the rest so i'll start wrapping the hair like this wrap it as if you are threading your hair but not too tight okay keep wrapping not too tight not too loose so wrap as if and don't keep don't um, keep any space as you are wrapping just wrap as if you are trading your hair i'll keep wrapping till i get to the very end then i'll show you how i end my look So once the hair you are wrapping with finishes as remaining small like this and you still have a long way to go you add more coily hair and keep wrapping like I sh I'm showing you here so you keep wrapping it and as you are wrapping towards the end make sure you are measuring the hair with the other measuring it to the other um, locks you have already made so that they will be on the same level it will be the same length so once i finish wrapping and i notice you can see that i still have much hair left so what i will do is i will cut off enough hair so that i will be left with a little portion of hair as i'm showing i'll cut off big portion the chunk big portion of the hair there i see this portion i can still use it i'm not wasting this i'll use it to attach the hair on the uh, wig cap so not, nothing like wastage here so the leftover here i will keep wrapping it down then once i get to the very end i will 
change the wrap the way I'm wrapping with I I'll take over the take up the bigger portion then the rest of the hair I will take them up and use the wrapping hair to wrap everything together upwards at some point I will join the whole hair together and use them all to wrap till all the hair vanishes so guys this is how I end the look I will show you another strategy when I get to the front meanwhile keep watching I will see you guys again
so guys as you all can see for the front top part that was the front i already pre-sectioned the hair that's pre-braided the hair what i'll just do is just to start wrapping the pre-braided hairs with the coily hair like i'm showing you i wrap with the hair at some point i divided the wrapping hair into two i wrap with I don't have one half like two rounds then I continue with the second half I keep interchanging this um, part I'm wrapping with what I'm doing so is that the hair will not find it easy to unravel or slip off from the root so the essence of doing this to me is to confuse the braid so that it can be it cannot um, unravel or shift from the root so I'll continue wrapping the hair as I showed you guys previously so make sure but you can see from the um, on the frontal part I did not add any extra hair I just braided pre-braided the frontal and then start wrapping let me do it one more time I started um, I, uh, I uh, pre-braided the hair then I start wrapping the pre-braided hair I didn't add any other thing pre-braided hair with the coily hair then I will make sure that um, the coily hair I'm wrapping with one part will be longer than the other part so the shorter part is what I use to wrap the longer part together with the pre-braided hair so I'll keep changing um, the hair if the hair gets um, smaller I'll take the longer part until the hair that I'm wrapping on looks uh, becomes thin then I will add extra hair and keep wrapping as I add extra hair you can see that one part of the hair I added is longer than the other one I say you see wrapping with the shorter one at some point I drop the shorter one and pick the longer one I'll keep wrapping like that till I get to the end and once I notice that the hair I'm wrapping on is very thin I add more hair so this is me wrapping the hair as you can see that I have just more hair left at the end I will leave I will keep wrapping and uh, use the wrapping hair to wrap the entire hair upwards as um, I keep wrapping it upwards like I'm showing then at the end I will cut off the excess hair at the bottom and this is what the ends look like I will rub it with my palms to smoothen it out smoothen it out and so guys this is what the wig looks like this is what the locks look like so I'll go ahead and add the elastic band after this video because I know I have showed you guys how to add elastic band to your frontal wig so guys thank you for watching to this moment and again if you have not subscribed to my channel do so and don't forget if you are interested in any of my products do check the description box the column that says to order a wig I will be there and if you have any question please comment what you think or answer, ask me any question in the comment section I will answer your question so guys I will leave you guys here and I hope to see you all in my next video please don't forget to like comment share this video till then bye